There was a level of frustration that the country had reached, I think, that that could indicate that something was going to happen. I was there as a protester, and I happened to be there. I was living in Cairo at the time. And again, like I went down, like many people, just to kind of see what was happening. And then you get swept away. And I think we all got swept away. And that's how like I met Jahan, and Jahan met um, uh, another one of the shooters. And we met our DP, and then we kept all meeting each other in this evolving landscape of the square. It was this incredible energy. It was like people talking about politics, people from all different backgrounds. You know, and we grew up in a country where it was very difficult to, people didn't talk openly about politics and what was happening in the country. People didn't value their opinion because it didn't matter what you thought or how you felt or what you wanted because you didn't have a voice or a stake in the future. The future had already been written for most Egyptians. And I think that there was a fundamental um, paradigm shift that happened at that moment. And I think that being, you know, being a part of that, being a witness to that is, as, as filmmakers, I think we realize that we had a responsibility as well to capture this and to share this. What we're trying to do now is, is to provide a a visceral experience where people can kind of go through that ride and come to their own understandings of what happened and what didn't happen and what can we expect moving forward and what is this new space that we're living in in today's world where we have a lot of serious um, a lot of serious ruptures happening around people and power structures whether it's in Egypt or in Greek Greece or in Russia or in Occupy or uh, in Rio or in many of the different places where this is this fight is starting to happen. The first time that we sort of allowed the film to end was when Morsi was elected. So we we said to ourselves, okay, this makes sense. This is about the removal of a dictator to the election of a new president. But this was the the, the storyline was a was a political process and then the minute that well a couple months after he was elected he grabbed dictatorial powers and everybody was back in the streets saying we are going to continue to fight we didn't stand you know we didn't come down to the streets we didn't lose lives in order to bring another fascist regime in place so it became a much more interesting story because it became about the fight against fascism whether that face of fascism was Mubarak or the military or the Muslim Brotherhood. Some of the most exciting screenings that we've had have been actually in, we've had some test screenings in high schools and colleges and the energy that people come out from that sort of age group is really, is fantastic because people come out saying these people felt so alive, they believe so strongly in what they're doing and they could be run over by tanks or shot at at any minute. So what am I doing for what I believe in? And so. It's a film that I think has been able to translate from beyond just the political situation in Egypt to the question of activism and what does that yeah. really mean to fight for your beliefs. The deep commitment and the sense of possibility among people that have lived in such difficult circumstances their entire lives is the most inspiring experience it's, it's I've this, ever yeah, been It's this through. refusal to relinquish a fundamental right, you know what I mean? And that, that adamant position that our characters hold and that so many of the people in the square held, I think is what we're really trying to share.